What's up, Power Director peeps? Today, I'm gonna show all of my wonderful PD peeps six cuts that every video editor needs to know using Power Director. If you're new to my channel and you wanna learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. There are a lot of elements to creating a successful video. One of those is knowing how to put your footage together while editing to create a fantastical looking video that sets itself apart from the crowd. Let's slice, dice, chop, cut, and mix stuff up. I think I might just make a song. The first cut we're gonna talk about is the standard cut. This is where you just place two clips one after another in a timeline and one clip just plays after the other one. So all you need to do is left click on a clip, hold down your left mouse button, drag it down to the timeline right after the other clip and you got yourself a standard cut. It's pretty standard. The second cut I wanna talk about is the jump cut. This is a form of the standard cut that involves using the same clip to remove gaps or pauses when a person is speaking. I'm gonna to need to make a movement by showing you how to make camera movements in post-production using PowerDirector 17. If you've been wondering how to create camera movement while editing your videos, I want you to put hashtag camera movement in the comment section below. All you need to do is place your cursor where you want, showing you, split the clip where you want, and then go ahead and delete that portion, fill the gap, and boom you got yourself some jump cuts. Now we'll talk about cutting on action. Now this is another form of the standard cut, but this cut is used to switch from one angle to a different angle of the subject doing a continuous action. So what you wanna do on this one is you wanna place your playhead at the position where you wanna make that cut. And I'm looking for a place where this individual is about to hit the other guy. So this looks like a pretty good place here. I'm gonna go ahead and do Control T to split this clip. Then I'm gonna left click on this clip and I'll go ahead and hit the delete button on my keyboard. And I'll go ahead and fill the gap so that the second clip moves right next to it. Now I need to find a place on this clip where he's punching with that same hand and hitting him. That It looks really similar. Right now he's punching with the left hand so that really wouldn't match up. So I just need to go ahead and move my playhead to a position where I see similar action taking place. And that looks really good right there. So what I'll do is I'll left click on this clip. I'll do control T to split it. I'll left click on this middle section because that's what I wanna move. I'll hit delete and fill gap. And now when you play this back, you should be able to see it actually go from one type of action to another angle of the same action and it'll look seamless. Next, we're gonna have a little chit chat about cross cuts. Now, this is where you cross between two clips multiple times to show two different perspectives of the same event. Let me give you an idea what the heck I'm talking about. So here we have a clip of a guy waiting on a plane. You can see that the plane's not at the gate. He's like, when is my plane gonna get here? I is angry. And then I got another clip back here, and it is that same plane landing. Oh, we coming. We on our way. Don't worry about us, Mr. Businessman. We is on our way. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make cuts and add them together, cross-cutting them between those two scenes to give you an element of, hey, he's waiting, but the plane's on the way. So what you want to do is you want to put your playhead at a position where you want to go ahead and make your cuts. And once you get there, you want to do control T to cut that clip and you want to move your playhead to the next position. And you want to do control T again. And you want to keep doing this until you get all of your cuts where you want them. And once you get those cuts on the first clip, you want to do the same thing on the second clip. So now that I got all of my cuts, what you want to do is you want to grab one of these clips that's at the back and you want to hold down your left mouse over this clip and drag it to a position where you made one of your cuts, let go of your left mouse, and then select insert and move all clips, and it'll be in between those clips. Go ahead and do the same thing with the other clips. And then when you play this back, you got the loveliness of cross cuts. The fifth cut we'll discuss is the J cut. 
This cut involves using two clips that have audio and video. It makes the audio of the second clip come in prior to the video of the second clip. As you can see, I got a clip here of some guys getting a groove on, doing some stomping. And then I have some nice young ladies getting their little thing on. I don't know what it's called. You tell me in the comments. Okay, so I want to go ahead and make a J cut with this. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and right click on the second clip and I'm going to go to unlink the audio and the video. Then I'm gonna go ahead and left click on the video and I'm gonna move the video up to the track above it. I'm gonna left click on the audio and I'm gonna move that down to the track below it. Then I'm gonna hold down my control key and I'm gonna left click on the video so that both of these are selected. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag this to the left so that it overlaps that middle clip. Now I'm going to left click on the video and I'm going to trim this in until it's at the end of that middle clip. I'm going to let go of my left mouse here. As you can see, if you look at these two clips, if you go straight down and to the left, it kind of resembles the letter J. That's why it's called a J cut. So now we want to go ahead and left click on the audio and we want to click on keyframe. And then we want to make sure that volume is selected. And then we want to move our playhead to a position where we want to go ahead and add a keyframe. And I think that's good there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the keyframe button. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the previous keyframe button. And now I'm going to drag my audio for this keyframe all the way down to zero. And you'll see here on this clip that it faded the audio at the beginning. So now we want to go ahead and left click on this middle clip. And so now we're in the volume keyframe for the middle clip. So we want to go ahead and move our playhead again to a position that we want. And we want to add a keyframe here. And then we want to go ahead and move it to the last keyframe or move our playhead to the end and add a keyframe, whichever one we need to do. And then we want to go ahead and bring our volume down to zero again. Now, when you play this back, you should have a wonderific little J cut. looks terrific. Last thing we're gonna talk about is the L cut. The L cut is the reverse of the J cut. So this time the video shows up prior to the audio showing up. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and move this over here. So now we'll left click on the video and we'll bring this video back out all the way. And then we'll trim the end till it's at the beginning of the middle clip. And now this looks like the letter L. So now you want to left click on the audio. You want to go to keyframe. Make sure that volume selected. And you want to move your playhead to a position where you want to go ahead and add this first keyframe. and you click on the add a keyframe button. Then you wanna move your playhead to the end. You wanna add another keyframe here. Bring your volume down to zero again. Left click on the middle clip. Move your playhead to a position that you want. You wanna add a keyframe there. Move to the previous keyframe. Drop that down to zero. And now you should have a beautiful little L cut. Cut-tastic. 
If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thank you.